Hey folks, Wade here at the Shoemakers Academy. Okay, I get this question all the time. You, you're a designer, right? You've done your shoe design. Look, here we've got one, awesome. But, but now you've got to communicate this design to the factory. And you, you know, you, the first thing you're gonna run into, of course, is how do I communicate what color it is? Because you can't just say green or red or blue. Right, I mean, you can say white, but actually there's a lot of different sort of shades of white and gray. And even black, there's different shades of black. So you need to be able to communicate the color to the factory, but not even just the factory, but also say you're a designer uh, and you want to communicate to your manager or whatever, You, how do you communicate color? Well, the answer is a Pantone book. So what is a Pantone book? A Pantone book is a it's a it's a it's their color chips just like you'd see at a paint store right there's a whole entire rainbow uh and i'll show you these in a second there's an entire rainbow and basically what you do is you go to the book and you pick out the chip that matches the color you want so here let's take a look all right so here here's the pantone book and they the pantone company uh they make tons of different color checking supplies um this is these are paper guides and uh, again, here it is. It's just like you'd see in a paint store, right? A Home Depot or something. Now they also have books that have little tear off tabs that you can attach to your drawing or document. Um, they also have fabric swatch chips and they also have plastic ones. Now, uh, a set of books like a set of books like this, and these are the most common ones, and I'll show you where to get these on Amazon. Um, they come in sets of two, coated and uncoated, which means glossy and unglossy. Uh, this set is about $200, right? And um, and you say, hey, that seems kind of expensive, but it's not because imagine you make a sample and you ship it and it's wrong. How much money is that? Now, these are these are the common books. Um, you know, I work with a client who does a lot of metallic stuff. So here I have a metallic book. And then also they also do a lot of pastel. So here's a book specifically with pastel colors that are not in the in the standard formula. And basically why these books are important and actually, I got to go back to this. Why these books are important is because every shoe factory, clothing factory, furniture factory, basically around the world, right? But basically, say in China or Europe, they have these books, right? This is the color standard. So, um, you the book that you buy on Amazon is exactly the same one that the factory will have. So when you read off the number, say here, I'm looking at this yellow and it's, you know, 395U, right? That's the uncoded colorway, 395. When the guy in the factory looks at your drawing here, right? And then sees 395, he knows exactly what color you're referring to. Now, again, the reason I said there's two different books, there's coded and uncoded, is if it's a shiny surface or a matte finish. And we'll, we'll just jump back over here and take a look. Okay, so for example, here, here we have this particular shoe, and and this is this is a new buck, right? Which has a matte surface, right? So this is where if you want to try to match it, you're gonna go to your book, and you're gonna flip through, and you know, like I said, right? How many oranges are there here, right? Here's a couple of do dozen different oranges, right? So we're gonna look at this book and say, okay, not this one. Okay, it looks pretty close to this, maybe this, you know, and this is fourteen nine five U. Okay, great. Now this shoe also has orange over here. But this is actually kind of a glossy color. So we could say, okay, we're going to go look and see. Maybe it's the same 1495U. Maybe not. But let's just go take a look and see. And we'll just try to match it. It looks more like, you know, 171U or, or uh, you know, 1645. Sorry, C, because we're in the C book here. Oh, maybe more like this. Okay, so this is basically how you go and find the color that matches. And if you look closely, you know, these books sometimes will have a little formula guide and that's for the for the ink supplier uh, or the, the material supplier in China um, to to make the formula to, to match the color. But that, that's kind of how the pan sewn system works. And if you look at this book, you will see that they've got options for just about every single color. And then if you go to now here, we'll show you the next thing here. All right. So that's that's the basic book. So when you go to the, the print shop that's doing logos or anything, they're gonna have a Pantone book. Hey, you know, I've had this problem where I've gone to the to, gone to the factory and they're having problems color matching. And you're like, why, what's going on here? Why is their color match not that good? 
Well, I go into their print shop and find that the book they have is really old and they fanned the pages so much that the color's starting to wear off and it's got ink stains all over it. So the thing was a real mess. So I took that book away from the guy, threw it in the trash and gave him my book. And when I got home, I bought another one. Because right, if, you're, if your primary factory doesn't have a clean panto book, <laughs> your color matching is always going to suck, right? So that's critically important. And, and again, I get, this seems like an expensive tool, but it's indispensable. There's actually no other way, right? And and I've, I've worked for a company where there, there's other color standards out there, depending on whether you're in Japan or Europe. Um, and, and they say, okay, we're going to make our color special. So we're going to use a different, we're going to use a different color book. And we bought one for our office and we gave one to the shoe factory. And I'll tell you, when you get to China, you find out they take your exotic color chip book, they tear the chip off and they go find the Pantone color that matches it. So I mean, Pantone is the standard. Okay. And the other thing is, yeah, these things do wear out. Okay. So where do you get one of these things? Well, hey, you can go to Pantone.com's website or you can just go over here to, um, here we are, we're on Amazon. And I'll send you the, the if you go down below in the link, um, there'll be a link to Pantone. So here's the Pantone the subset here on on, Am, uh, on Amazon. And, um, you know, they have their crazy marketing thing where here's the color of the year, whatever that means. Okay, so here's the, here's the book, 205 bucks. And this gets you the coded and uncoded book. And if you look at their other thing, you can see they have tons of other books. So metallic, pastel, earth tone, whatever. Um, here, you know, if you're fabric, here's fabric. Um, you know, if you are working for a large company and you do lots of plastic, here's the plastic specifier. Yeah, $7,500 because it's literally a piece of plastic with all these colors. Um, this color tool is a is a color matching device. So if you if you are, uh, you know, walking around the uh, the the retail uh, tribal market in Morocco and you see a color that you want to capture and you you just scan it with this little device and it'll tell you what Pantone chip it is. So, but basically if you're just getting started uh, and you're on your own, you know, basically just start with this book, right? This set of books right here. You know, it's it's 205 bucks and uh, it's pretty indispensable. Um, you know, it, it's quite often like when you when a book wears out at work, you know, instead of throwing it away, just take it home, right? So you have a spare one right? Even though it may be a little bit worn, it's still good enough for you to have, right? If you need to check something on weekends. So, but uh, yeah, again, Pantone books, they do wear out, you know, every couple of years, you should definitely look at get, getting a new one. Uh, but this is, this is how you specify colors. And it pretty much is a, pretty much is an indispensable tool. Um, you know, we talk about this. If you come to the website, shoemakersacademy.com and visit our online courses, when we talk about specifications and material selection, if you're creating a product specification, half of the half of your job is to get the Pantone book out and talk to your designer and find the correct color chip that they need, right? Um, and they, sometimes the factory will come back and say, "Hey, the color we have a color that's similar. Go look up whatever number it is to see how close it is." And, and quite and sometimes too, that's where the factory might say, "Hey, the color match is not perfect." Um, or you could give a range or, you know, they might say we have colors available here. But anyways, so again, you know, when we talk about creating specifications, picking the Pantone number and using the right book, whether it's the C book or the uncoated book, right? Again, if it's a matte finished material, you'll use the uncoated book. If it's a if it's a glossy solid surface, then you're going to use the, the coated book. So that, that that's it really for designers. You have. <laughs> Yeah, you absolutely need to have a Pantone book for you know graphic designers too, right? And then that's how you check to see whether your shoe was made correctly is you go back and look at the chip and make sure that they got it right. So again, as a developer, critical tool. You, you must have that because you want to know whether they made the shoe correctly, right? And then, hey, also having the, as a designer, having that book in your hands will just give you access to so many options that you can think about, okay, what do I really want this shoe to look like? And, and as you flip through the book and you, you know, look at all the color options. And, and again, when you go back to the Pantone thing, if you're, if you're doing apparel or home goods too, they have a, a textile Pantone series, which is a whole nother set of colors rather than sort of the graphic and sort of footwear colors. So uh, again, but Pantone is the standard. The factories in China, uh, in Europe, they all have access to the same book and, and that's really how you communicate in the old days i mean we would literally 
have to cut out pieces of fabric or whatever it was that we were doing and staple it to the drawing and mail it to the factory so they can match it. But nowadays you don't even do that. Now, uh, if you go to your uh, software like Illustrator or Photoshop, they will have Pantone color in the system. Just so you know, when you print that drawing out, will it be accurate to the Pantone no, no, number? It will not be. Really, the only way to really know what that color looks like and to set the standard for the factory is not, not to have your computer drawing. I mean, you can play around with the computer drawing to get it to match the chip pretty well. But again, that all comes down to what kind of printer you're using, right? And I've used, you know, $10,000 printers and $200 printers. And do they ever match the Pantone book exactly? Never. So uh, in that case, that's where, you know, you, you really got to use your book, specify your color, just give them the number. You know, if you're, if you're a really helpful designer, you might tell them what page it's on because this book is several hundred pages so they can find the color rapidly. And it's also good for you if you have to go back and look up the color again, if you note the page number that it's on, that helps again. So that's it. That's Pantone number. That's how you specify color. Absolutely critical tool. Hey, if there's, uh, you know, every, if you have other, any other questions about shoe design and how to how to get ahead in the world of shoe design, how to break into the world of shoe design, then uh, then cruise on over to the Shoemakers Academy website. We have tons of books, courses, and materials that will help you figuring out this whole shoe design thing and, and how to become a pro. So anyways, that's it. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. And, uh, and get yourself Pantone book.